Now that we've learned a little bit about how strings work, let's dive into some code. We'll start by creating a new project and opening it up in VS Code. We'll create a function for getting the first line of any text data. For now, we'll make the argument and the return type capital S strings. The string type comes with a convenient method lines, which allows us to progressively get each line of the string. We must call next on the return type of the lines function to get the next line. Since this is the first call to next, this gets us the first line of data. When the input string is empty, the call to next returns option none, otherwise returning option sum with the line data. To keep things simple, we'll just call the option types unwrap method, which crashes the program in the none case. If we try to compile the function as is, we'll get an error. We said our function will return an own string, but apparently the line we're getting back is of type ampersand stir, a string slice. Why is this? It turns out that the line being returned to us is a slice into the string input passed into our function. In other words, it's a direct view into the text data owned by the input string. We're simply being given a view into the original string data but we've said that the function should return an own string, a string that owns the data associated with it, not a slice into that data. There's many ways to get this code to compile, but like many things in Rust, we need to be explicit about what we want. If we want to keep our function signature as is and return an own string from our function, we need to turn the string slice into an own string. How do we do this? One of the most common ways to do this is by calling to owned on the string slice. To owned turns the non owned string slice type into its owned equivalent, an owned string. This will copy all of the string data referred to by the string slice and return an own string that owns the copied string data. What if we don't want to copy the string data, but rather return a string slice to the caller? To do this, we will change the argument and return types to be string slices. Now we're not dealing with own strings at all. The return string slice points to the same exact memory as the beginning of our input string slice. This means that the input string slice needs to be valid for at least as long as our output string slice. Otherwise, the output string would point to invalid memory. To call our function, we can pass in things that are already of type to string slice. Let's create a string slice using a string literal. If we pass this value to our function and print the result to standard out, we should see the first line. Besides passing values of type string slice, we can also pass references to own string. Let's try that. Now a reference to an own string and a string slice are not the same thing. They have different types after all. Rust rarely implicitly converts between types, but this is one case where it does, since it's more or less completely free to convert a reference to an own string into a string slice. Rush strings come with a whole bunch of helpful methods for manipulating string data. For instance, we can make our string uppercase and strip things from the string. Make sure to check out the Rust standard library docs to see what else you can do with Rust strings. Rust string types can be confusing to newcomers to Rust because they require understanding ownership and borrowing. But once you have an understanding of these concepts, you'll be able to manipulate text data in an incredibly efficient manner.